for the attendee who listens uh, online. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay. Jiao San Ho, right, yeah. Professor? <laughs> okay. Yeah. I tried to switch. What's the good morning in Chinese? <laughs> okay. So uh, we are uh, here uh, and feeling happy today because we have special uh, lectures from Professor Cheng Han Sun from uh, China. And uh, yeah, I maybe because uh, maybe I have to say on behalf of LPPM, I would like to say many thanks to you, Professor, uh, for your kindness and willingness uh, for sharing your uh, viable research here is in uh, our campus. So welcome in Bandung, Professor, especially in uh, ITB. Okay. So, and maybe I also want to extend the apologies from the head of uh, LPPM because uh, he cannot join with us today because uh, he has other agenda in the same time. Okay. So maybe uh, as uh, your moderator, I officially uh, open this uh, meeting. <laughs> okay, uh, let's move to the main agenda. Uh, we will uh, hear a lecture from Professor uh, Sun and then continue with uh, discussion. But uh, before uh, Professor Cheng Hang uh, presents the uh, lectures, I would like to read your CV, so we will know you better, okay. Um, I got your file, your CV file from uh, Parino. It's quite soft because it's so many pages. Yeah, so thick. <laughs> so maybe it took uh, 30 minutes if I read all, so I just make the summarize from your CV. Okay, so uh, Professor Cheng Hang Sun, uh, working as a professor in Institute of Medicinal Biotechnology, Chinese Academy of Medical Sciences and uh, Peking Union Medical College. Uh, currently, he also is the Dean of Departments of Microbial Chemistry since 2016. Yeah. And uh, he uh, became the supervisor of uh, doctoral candidates in 2008. And he also is a member of academic committee and a member of academic degrees committee in the Institute of Medicinal Biotechnology. And also uh, he is a main member of the Beijing Key Laboratory of Antimicrobial Agents and editorial board member or review editor of several scientific journal such as Chinese Journal of Antibiotics Chinese Journals of Medicinal Biotechnology, Frontiers in Chemistry and Etcha. Yeah. So her focus research on bioprospecting for medicinal microorganisms, especially in actinobacteria, to produce new drug or drug candidate use in various therapeutics area, such as cancers or infectious, infectious disease. Yeah, and uh, he has led to over 100 peer review scientific papers, six granted uh, patents, and also uh, until 2030, more than 50 postgraduate, so over 20 PhD students. Wow. It's very spectacular, the CV <laughs> professor. So I think uh, that's all the summary of Professor Teng Hang San uh, CV. So now the time is yours for maybe presentations maximum for one hour, and then we continue for discussion. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Can you hear if I just speak like this, or you see this one, or? I think this already. Already, already. Uh, yeah. yeah. So today my topic uh, actually was discovery of new antibiotic 
well, on the micro uh, microorganisms uh, by different strategy. So we so-called so strategy, then later on we will find that we use the ordinary way. Uh, it's quite difficult to find new antibiotic right now. And I come from the Institute of Medicine and Technology, Chinese Academy of Medical Science. But more important is Peking Media Medical College. This college was established in 1970. So now um, that's, uh, that was the Qing Dynasty. And, uh, Chinese history actually was uh, supported by the Rockefeller Foundation from the United States. Uh, this foundation, uh, they, they have a lot, a lot of Christians. So they go to China and hope to uh, make a Chinese John Hopkins. Mm. So uh, 2000 fellow two, I, I have been John Hopkins, so our system is quite similar. The doctor need to go to the clinic, also go to the laboratory. So doctor has uh, students for clinic, also mm. have students for uh, experiments. So uh, in 1921, the, the, uh, the PUMC begin to run and till now, thousands of thousands of PhD students was graduated there. This, this picture actually 2000, this year, 2023, in the July, uh, we take this picture. Um, in our institute, uh, in our uh, university, there are only PhD students. Uh, um, if, if, uh, because eight years from bachelor, beginning from bachelor, mm -hmm. so master, then PhD. So most of eight years, they get PhD, but some students not so good, or mm -hmm. some students, they will like quit, go to abroad. Mm -hmm. So they didn't finish the PhD, so sometimes they get a master. So, um, this university is not huge, not like, uh, uh, like yesterday. I, I, I yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, only 60, 60 bachelor students each year. 60? 60, uh -huh. only 60. So the, the, the entrance is so high, higher than Tsinghua University. The Tsinghua University is number one in China. We are, we are higher than them, only 60 students. Mm -hmm. So uh, at least, at least uh, university, because uh, uh, still the top one in the uh, uh, Chinese medical kind of uh, research and uh, education. So Chinese Academy of Medical Science, this administration joined, joined PM, PMC in 1956. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Then they become a group like American NIH. They have research, they have hospital, they also give the ground mm -hmm. to, to the uh, like medical uh, uh, research kind of uh, uh, project. Uh, uh, PUMC, then we combine the name, Chinese Academy of Medical Science, Peking Union Medical College, combine. Then they have uh, uh, six hospitals, very important hospitals, uh, almost the top, and uh, more than 20 uh, institutes distributed everywhere in China. So there are three um, kind of pharmaceutical. Uh, uh, in Beijing, so one of uh, is our uh, institute, uh, like uh, uh, Chinese uh, Institute of Biotechnology, uh, focused on the uh, antibiotic research. Uh, our institute actually was established in 1958, so to 2008. So uh, like uh, in China, the 60 is a very big number. Like twelve, like one turn. We we have a mice, like like we, we have mice, dragon, like this kind of uh, Chinese kind of uh, things. So uh, twelve what, was one turn. So five twelve six. So uh, five turns. So very uh, big ceremony. So that's uh, all the uh, staff was there, not students. All the staff. Mm. So students was double to to our staff. So. Um, you can see from here, actually, uh, we, we uh, uh, this paper all the certification, so make the job. So mm -hmm. we just talk 80% Chinese antibiotic was produced uh -huh. in the R Institute. So that's the reason. Um, so we have a kind of wall, all the uh, professor, four professor. Uh, uh, just a picture was there. And mm -hmm. from 2000, actually, uh, Chinese uh, biotechnology Improve so many, so many new equipment in our lab. Now we have no place to put 
we, we only have a little place to do the experiment, all was equipped. So in the institute, we have uh, a lot of uh, departments. My department was Department of Microbiochemistry. We, we are the pioneer to get compound. Mm -hmm. Then all those things, if it's new, if uh, activity is strong, all those uh, departments are happy because they can do a lot. Mechanism, animal test, and also modification, mm -hmm. biosynthetic, all, all kinds of things. So in, in my uh, lecture, there is uh, four uh, staff, other all students, overseas students, PhD students, John, kind of culture students. Most was PhD. Also, we have uh, also we have uh, master students. Uh, John actually uh, take charge of purification, structural utilization. Mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, Wugang, when we get compound, he will do the total successes. Mm -hmm. Uh, get uh, enough amount we can put on the animal or uh, do the modification of the chemical structure. Uh, so we actually do the bio prospecting and get, get new species. Also do the fermentation and bio assay. You, you actually are uh, quite very quiet kind of girl. Uh, she do the biosynthetic and do the gene cluster or not gene and expressing other uh, kind of uh, uh, strains. So according to uh, all those uh, specialties, so what we do was collect sample from the very beginning mm -hmm. until to get compound and evaluate compound and the chemical structure modification compound. Uh, and let's go to our topic. Actually, uh, 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 all the students, I'm not sure you guys know uh, this was friendly, but this one you might not know. Actually, this was very important guy. He's a, a salesman. Well, a seal worksman. He's a Jewish. He uh, was born in the Ukraine. Now was a, 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 at that time, he's the, the same kind of uh, generation with uh, uh, Fleming. Mm -hmm. uh, Fleming is a happen find the penicillin. Yeah. So in the art uh, field, like uh, all the scientists, they evaluate worksman was a father of antibiotic, not 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 a uh, uh, Fleming uh, Alexander Fleming. But Fleming's story is so familiar to other people, mm -hmm. to other people. So uh, Worksman not only built a way to screening antibiotic, also found a lot of biotic, and he has a group, a lot of students, then distribute everywhere in the world, begin to find new antibiotic, use this way. We, we now we say Worksman's method, even though still used in, in a, a different group. Usually they just uh, purify the compound, uh, purify the strain from different environments, then by assay, then uh, purification, then structure elucidation. But that time, uh, elucidation of structure is not so easy. Uh, yeah, that, that's uh, he, uh, her, his contribution. And actually this one, uh, green seeding uh, student to the, to the, this compound. Actually, this compound was more early than penicillin. Only penicillin go to the, go to the blood, Mm -hmm. And uh, go to the Second World War and uh, treat a lot of uh, uh, like soldier, so get Nobel Prize. Uh, green skin is more early than penicillin, but only in the skin, uh, the infection in the skin. So contribution not so great. Uh, That's why uh, uh, Fleming and Oxford group, like the Chen and the, uh, colleagues, get the Nobel Prize. Uh, also, uh, works then get of. Uh, Nobel Prize in 1952 uh, because get the strip mining. Strip mining at that time, TB had no drugs. These only drugs can kill the TB. Mm -hmm. So um, we always see a picture. The TB patient was just outside to sunshine. There no drug. But after uh, a worksman found the strip mining, now they can use drug to control the, the tuberculosis. So. Uh, after Seuss Worksman uh, made this kind of uh, method to find antibiotic, actually, you can see this chart. A huge, a lot of new antibiotic this, uh, uh, was found in the 1950 uh, uh, to 1970s. Then, then you can see from here fewer and fewer new antibiotics can be found and used in the clinic. And, uh, <clears throat> We can see this, this lady actually <clears throat> was a company in the Spanish uh, branch. 
she was a nature product report, uh, nature product scientist. She uh, accumulates or summarized all those research found uh, repeat discovery, or we say found old threats is more and more frequent than before, make the, a new antibiotic appear so difficult. On another hand, um, superbug, we also flock, always hear the radio and see the TV as superbug appears. <clears throat> so that's the Harvard Medical uh, School. They do a very simple kind of uh, experiment, but you feel very strong about why superbug appears so quick. They put the antibiotic like this, they design like this. There are no antibiotic, one microgram, 10 microgram, uh, 100 and 1,000. So they put uh, E. coli here. Mm -hmm. You can you can see what happened. Uh, in the very beginning, there are no antibiotic, uh, the, the uh, bacteria grows, no mm -hmm. problem. But they stop because they're one microgram per day. Mm -hmm. So they cannot grow. Mm -hmm. But finally, one day you see, they break, break through this kind of uh, antibiotic. They mutate. Then they go very quick. All those wow. mutants join, they go, go to very quick. But to the 10 microgram, they also stop. They hesitate a long time because very high pressure right. of antibiotic. But finally, one day they mutate again, mm -hmm. then go to the 100. Finally, they just break through all those antibiotics, even 100, uh, 1,000 uh, wow. microgram per year. So very good uh, research. And they keep those uh, uh, drug resistance genes and do the gene sequence. They found so many, you can see they, uh, the the mutant transgen, a lot of mutant gene appears. So actually, uh, human beings anyway cannot stop this kind of drug resistance if we use that value. That's nature kind of uh, rules, not not uh, we can control. So actually, uh, when this uh, spread it uh, in the clinic, uh, like a uh, 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 United States scientists, they estimate. Those was public science, uh, pub, uh, uh, health, pub, public health kind of scientists. They just predict mm -hmm. by 2050, the drug uh, will be more serious than COVID. So uh, like Asia, because Asia population is so high and in fact is used not in the human beings or in the animal, use uh, in the kind of agriculture. So uh, it's more serious than other countries. So in the 2017, the WHO give a kind of a recommend which kind of bacteria we need to find, urgently need to find antibiotic to cure this kind of disease or prepare when they happen, when the drug resistant superbug appears, we should have a drug. But we, we have talked about drug is quite difficult to discover of new antibiotic. In another hand, uh, drug resistant is so serious, then uh, in my field, in our field, to find second, uh, secondary uh, uh, metabolites, uh, kind of trouble, how we can find new. That's what we need to uh, break, break through, and it's the bottleneck. So there is at least two strategies, of course, and more. Uh, one was strain deregulation. We know the secondary metabolites or antibiotic was produced by the uh, microbial. So if we found some new uh, microbial, might we can get some new gene which can be a new antibiotic. As the new antibiotic has a new structure, so we can might be a, a have new mechanism to over uh, come over the drug resistance. That's one thinking. Another thinking was we directly from the uh, kind of a profile of a secondary metabolites. We practice which one was new. So we tag it with the new compound which has biotic. That's another strategy. So we'll talk one by one. Um, the first strategy, new, new strengths. Actually, uh, a lot of scientists, they just go to the very hard, rich place to get a uh, sample and get the uh, new strengths, mm -hmm. which might be can produce new antibiotic. Like go to uh, Chile, uh, in the, the South America. So a lot, a lot of uh, scientists cooperate with Chile, Peru because they have Atacama Desert. 100 years, no rain, no annual rain. 
So very dry place. Mm -hmm. So in that place, the bacterial bacteria, they can survive. So they will must change a lot. And it was suitable, this kind of environment. Also uh, like cave, like Mariana Trench, one uh, 10,000 meter deep in the mm -hmm. sea. So actually uh, this, this, this trip in the Indonesia, a lot of scientists, they are really uh, interested in the deep sea. Mm -hmm. So uh, they really want to do this uh, kind of research. Hope we have a chance to cooperate with the scientists. Mm -hmm. uh, it, that's my group too. And my group will actually focused on several uh, extreme environments. One was, uh, uh, you can see here in desert, it's a Taklimaten desert. Another was, uh, anybody know this, this picture? Like uh, there? Mm. Actually it was, uh, it's in the Xinjiang. Xinjiang, uh, oh, okay. 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 Uh, There is a soda lake, a huge soda lake. But it's dry, dry up. So when dry, first uh, line, they have a uh, uh, so, so, so that appears. So mm -hmm. like first, then try again, the second, like three. So finally, try up, you can see like this. It's huge from uh, space. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we also uh, do research here. Uh, um, we go to the cave and the mangrove. Mangrove we do a long time, 2016, mm -hmm. until now we still do the mangrove. Mm -hmm. Huge mangrove here. Yeah. So yeah, compared to China, China species and the area is so little. But yeah. but uh, uh, we we already found a lot of things there. Yeah. Also, we go to the Tibet. Yeah. Actually, that, two days ago, I I went to mangrove forest uh, in Kalimantan. Oh, so good, so good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just take a few samples from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. Yeah. And, and the Tibet actually was uh, we know the South Pole, North Pole. And the Maria and the Trench with the fourth pole. Mm -hmm. The third pole actually, actually was here. It's, uh, it's the uh, Himalaya mountain. So we, at that place, Tibet, we also do the research there. Mm -hmm. So um, that's some picture we uh, have done. And uh, also we cooperation with many countries, like Pakistan, we go to the Indian des desert, uh, like uh, Mongolia, uh, and uh, uh, Russia, uh, Far East. Far East, we go to the uh, Siberia. Siberia is so cold. My students from Siberia, uh, Russia still, we arrived in the September, uh, February. At that time, Beijing was minus 10. So he just out, out of the airport, he said, it's so warm. <laughs> Minus 10, he says, so much. <laughs> I said, what? He said, yeah, minus 40. Yeah, that's minus 30, <laughs> minus 40 in, in my place. I go to there in the, this time, they already air condition, uh, uh, warm air condition open. I need to, uh, it's it quite cold. Then uh, we have uh, cooperation with the uh, uh, American and uh, 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 British scientists and uh, go to the cave, to the research in the cave. Also, mm -hmm. we go to the Malaysia. Uh, John to do the uh, mango research. Uh -huh. But like, unfortunately, they still didn't count. But finally, they didn't get good results. Mm. Uh, the master students still have uh, lack of experience. Also, we go to a cooperation with uh, uh, Hungary, uh, Australia. Then we uh, go to the uh, Siberia, huge kind of soda lake uh, to this uh, environment. It's uh, uh -huh. I'm very proud of that. Uh, it's a very really good kind of uh, bacteria. Yeah, good picture. Yeah, very good. Oh, <laughs> oh beautiful. By my student, <laughs> by my student, not by me. So they give us uh, this kind of picture. I was very really happy. They they uh, uh, close all the lights and very carefully come here tonight, two o'clock. So they did some work and a uh, very beautiful um, So I will talk to compound. Actually, we found from. Uh, uh, Extreme environment. One was from cave. One was a tackling in the desert. You can, you see one was simple. One was complicated. Mm -hmm. A uh, kind of structure was uh, very uh, large. Uh, we, we first they shakamas that small one. If we close the lights, you can see very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Because in the cave, uh, you see uh, all those kind of uh, fish and shrimp. They changed. They have no color. It was transparent. You can see directly uh, because in the light in the cave, the light completely dark. Mm -hmm. So they don't need the eyes because they cannot see. So they for save their energy. It's just mm -hmm. a, like uh, evaluation. No, no, no kind of eyes. Mm -hmm. Also, though, 
they don't need the color. Um, also, uh, we also take a picture in the cave. That's kind of an ammonite. It's actually far, far, far year away. So uh, KV4, thousands, thousands. So in this kind of environment, we guess microorganisms are changed, are evaluated. So mud can get new compound. Also, the uh, nutrient is so limited snail. Mm. Actually, it's challenge pellets. You can do yellow one with it, just sandy. There are no nutrition. They just eat the sand, get some bacteria as energy. Uh -huh. So it's a very limited kind of nutrition. So in this uh, in this environment, I just uh, uh, want to for a long time, very long time. So finally, uh, I get ground. I can buy a lot of equipment. I can learn from uh, those cavers. Uh -huh. And then training outside, inside. Finally, I get the certification. I can go to the cave to collect samples with a matter of research. It's quite dangerous. Uh, uh, the, this picture actually was, we say, first fly. Mm -hmm. Like new airplane appeared. So the, the pilot, who was the first pilot, that's very important. If the airplane has problem, then there has something happened. Mm -hmm. So this is the same thing. Uh, we have made the system, we have made the load, uh, the caver, the first caver, is a pioneer. He he was brave. He he needs the first uh, say the, the the tie was uh tight enough. Say put a tie up enough. So uh, uh actually we have uh, very good friends because we are live connected, live tied. So at least three people. Uh, we we need to go to the day maximum, a uh, minimum of three people. There's something happened. There's some people. Uh, uh, say this one, and another people ask uh, help. But in the cave, there are no cell phone, no any information. <laughs> so finally, after two years training, I get the certification, then I can go inside. Mm -hmm. And you see uh, all the stone was just along the roof. So if something happened, always more stone. If you even take helmet, then you will die there. Mm -hmm. Just very, uh, uh, like the older students take it. So then, then I begin to take students go to the cave. Mm -hmm. Of course, help by my uh, friends, but all those students cannot. I've trained there two years. So in China, in the uh, southeast, in China, there's a lot of cave. You, you see this cave door, cave door, uh, that's the place we live in. So we just go. And uh, um, uh, how to say, uh, to this kind of environment, you need to pay attention because there is water there cave. So water always take sample, go inside the cave. So you collect sample in the cave, you can find a special place, the same with outside, because the water, uh, water take the soil, go in the cave. So that's the trick. Why we need to train myself, go to the deep place, to find the different environment. So finally, we uh, uh, get the strain. One strain is very funny. In the this patchy disc, you already kill all the fungi. Mm -hmm. So very strong activity. So my students uh, pick up that and uh, do the acid against the fungi, against the bacteria, not negative, pos uh, po uh, uh, positive, uh, uh, gram positive, and also kill a lot of uh, cancer cells. So we uh, we do uh, all those basic research, then begin to purify the compound. So because uh, purified compound all the same, like HPLC, like colon, like uh, PLC plate, so we just uh, did that. We just talked about structure. So after we get sample, we do the structure investigation. We get three compound, uh, which we name Sacramento A, B, C. Actually, A was the original compound. You see, uh, when we uh, get structure, obviously it was just uh, open the uh, lectern rings. Then after we get compound, they they have family. They have family kind of compound. So we get all the kinds of family from the literature. Finally, we have found this structure was new and very unique. You can see they, the, the sugar, actually here, the sugar was, was kind of neutral sugar, not the animal sugar. So, but most of this kind of compound, if they have sugar, they must be animal sugar, not neutral sugar. And that's, that's very ha uh, happy because uh, might be in outside of cave, they have a, a lot of, and, and, and two, it's kind of nitrogen. But in the cave, 
uh, carbon dioxide is so big, so many. We, we you know the cave was uh, like uh, dissolved of carbon CaCO3, then become the cave. So the carbon dioxide is huge. So that might be one reason they have no kind of animal suit. Another one was that uh, this link actually was, you see the red one was a uh, carbon to carbon, not carbon to uh, oxygen company. So these, these two actually is a very uh, unique or different structure with other uh, compounds. So the structure was new, so we are more interesting. So we do more kind of uh, research on that. Uh, they, they actually can really uh, kill the cancer cell, very strong, like 0 0.43, that's most strong to, to the human prostate type cancer. Then we want to make the work, no matter if we are or not, we will want a very uh, kind of, uh, how to say, in, inact kind of uh, research. So we put students to the mechanism study, cooperate with the last group. So they found that actually the more sensitive to the uh, cancer, the AKT is a uh, cytokine will be more high. So we use the uh, uh, gene technique, RNAi gene technique, we just delete these genes, AKT genes. Then we found it's not so sensitive. So it must, uh, this drug must uh, cooperation or relationship with the AKT. So it should be an AKT inhibitor. So we published paper, and after we all the published, so uh, we published in the 2015, mm -hmm. and the beginning 2016, 17, 18, all those uh, review begin to comments of compounds. So like uh, uh, New Zealand, there is a, a group they only focus on this group of uh, and that publish a uh, review in the nature of the reports. They say, ah, oh, well, the compound was so beautiful. So they just keep coming, like yellow, we do have that. But also in the GNP, we say the Journal of Nature Products is our kind of field, very famous kind of journal. They also give some comments. They found another one, which uh, uh, kind of kind of similar with us, but still uh, uh, like uh, amino kind of sugar. Uh, actually, this compound was second compound from K. The first one was German in the 2000, uh, 2005. They found from metallic K. This, that's the first K compound. Mm -hmm. But the second, then American uh, compound comes. Uh, they are the third. Mm -hmm. So uh, from the structure of those compounds, we, we really found the kind of uh, cheeky things. They have uh, like bands. Also, they have quinoa. Quil uh, why they have this kind of structure? Uh, what I guess was uh, they, we know this kind of comb have always have color. They want to absorb the light mm -hmm. in the dark uh, kind of cave. The light was so, so weak. So if they have this kind of structure, they can get light, they can get energy because they are, there are no nutrients. That might be why they produce this kind of compound. So we always thinking uh, microorganisms, now, no matter it's fungi, it's actinobacteria, it's a bacteria. They produce second early metabolites, not for human beings, mm -hmm. for themselves. But happily, we get this compound, we attack in the human beings, then drug appears. Uh, uh, this kind of thing happened. So, this is the uh, first uh, extreme environment. We get the compounds, and uh, actually, we put a lot of students for five years. Mm -hmm. Like uh, one who, who uh, does PhD student who actually uh, he do the biodiversity uh, and get. Get kind of students. John actually did the purification, fermentation, structure investigation. And Chen Chan, uh, as a PhD student, he finished the mechanism study. And uh, uh, Tony, uh, she uh, helped do the, all those uh, new species identification mm -hmm. and uh, get the first new uh, genders. And uh, Xiao Jun gets the uh, first new species. Another master student with the uh, biodiversity. Pick up the strain, do the sequence, uh, do the assay, this kind of job. So, a lot of them do that during that time. And we give the name of Shakamaisi because uh, Sh Shisha might be a Chinese uh, kind of Chindo or no sister. This guy actually, uh, she write a very good book uh, of Shisha Ke Liu Qi. Uh, he was actually was born in the Ming Dynasty, like Shan Baokong, like uh, somewhere around that place. 
uh, that, uh, that uh, dynasty, he came 300. He's the first caver in China. So for Manari, is a uh, uh, ancient, we just give the, her name mm -hmm. at the compound, because the very beginning compound. So summarize, we uh, get all those results. Mm -hmm. A thousand of joints we are aware already there. Actually, uh, like uh, China, China, like uh, uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, so many cave plates. Uh, especially in the south, uh, but China in the north of uh, uh, west have uh, much, much of desert. So I just asked my colleague in Indonesia, no desert, no desert here. But after we do the research, the desert is so good place to produce antibiotics. Uh, uh, this is the map of whole world, like Sahara. Everybody knows in Africa, that's the biggest. Uh, and the, the second, People like say Gobi, actually, Gobi is not sh swift, shift kind of that. Takalim again is the second, except the Sakalama, uh, uh, Shahala. So, the uh, we people say that are just see a kind of a yellow place. Actually, they divide it very uh, uh, like can shift, like wind comes, they just go to some place. Mm -hmm. That's kind of that. Another was a kind of just yellow and stop, stick, stick there, not move. That's another uh, kind of desert. So in the shift cat desert, if you do experiment here, and for some of you, it's kind of dangerous. First, you have a load, right? You just use the your car, you, you can see the load, but shift covered by the uh, uh, load, by the sand. So you, you don't know where you come from. So go outside, it's quite difficult. So that's a, a tricky thing. Uh, we, we have done to, uh, twice into the desert because first we have no experience. We are kind of worried about that. So we just along the uh, south edge, we collect sample. Then second, we know ah oh, that's all kind of rules. So we just across the desert uh, with the steam uh, collect all those samples. Uh, fortunately, recently Chinese uh, made those laws so excellent that that's the highway in, in Across the the whole uh, desert now was fixed, cannot be moved uh, by uh, cannot be covered by the sand. Um, when when we uh, collect sample, a lot of uh, funny thing happen. Actually, we have no experience. We always uh, like we, we say special niche, not only the environment uh, niche. That's a more small concept than ecosystem. So this tree actually. Uh, uh, Get water from very very deep kind of place, mm -hmm. and we think uh, in desert there no water at all, but they really can get. So we cut the, if we cut the tree, so damage that, so the tree will be pumped uh, up and outside. After evaporate, evaporate it, so we can see this white kind of uh, uh, you can see the white uh, soil so that there because the some sunshine was so serious, so uh, appears uh, uh, those things. Uh, so that so we get the that driver told me that's the tree of a tier of tree in in this kind of desert. So we collect sample there. Actually, we get new. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, this work actually was done by Jiang Hong Liu, actually five years PhD students uh, from very beginning to compound. So uh, uh, she uh, also uh, get a lot of biodiversity and new species from that place. Actually, we are not so interested to the, those things. We just uh, pay more attention to the activity and new structure because they are uh, they are the stream which have never been studied. So it's more easy to get them compounded. Uh, yeah. Uh, from after screening, we, we get TMD one six six. This is stream. We even put them into TLC. We run the TLC. We put them into the ADA. We can see which band has active. So we we scratch that band and we go to the HPLC. Then we found ah there is a very very strong active compound. So uh, now uh, I have several students uh, focus on this trend to a lot of work. And finally, um, uh, get the, get the structure. We take almost one year to. Make clear not only uh, only the plenary, like plenary. if we uh, we make the we say the chiral carbon right 
should have a pseudo structure. Uh, we just finish the ball. Only pseudo, one pseudo we didn't finish yet. Uh, the still real time capture. Uh, and uh, we have samples, so we are uh, not only uh, in vitro uh, screening activity, also in vivo. And actually, the animal is so good, it's better than vancomycin. Vancomycin, the last line, is the last line for clinic kind of doctor stop uh, positive uh, uh, infections, a uh, positive gram positive uh, infections. So then we uh, see it's a it's a uh, uh, good compound, mild rejectable. So we put uh, another students into that. We begin to get all the uh, gene cluster and not the gene, and uh, what thing happen should get more compounds and we don't test which compounds more powerful than you and more safety. And the uh, Yian Qing, Yian Qing was the most students to do the kind of yield, yield uh, uh, high yield constraint screening. Xiao Meng, a PhD student, do the uh, Mino kind of, we have major kind of pig and Mino pig. So uh, she was collecting Mino pig, analyze structure and do stereo kind of st structure determination. So we give us uh, mass students very, uh, very fun. Uh, we use two ways to uh, like kill the kill the producing strings. We want to kill him, but not by one hundred percent. We keep ten percent. See what we are checked. Some strain will don't yield this uh, compound anymore, but some strains kill more. So we use two ways. Uh, um, I, I, see what's in the uh, we copy them. Yeah. So we you know so we have video about that, but uh, maybe so then uh uh Yen Corporation take some photo to the radiation institute in Beijing. So they, they do the like laser, like the uh, other kind of uh, uh array to stimulate the, the producing stream. Do you, do you get the video here? Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Just go full on this one. Let's see. Sounds like a case. Oh, so we put the strain mm -hmm. on the cup in the top. So uh, almost sterilized. We just put put them in there. So you can see a, a beam just very quick. Yeah, like mm -hmm. this. So so the bacteria will be 90% will be killed. So mm -hmm. we take them back, we put in the egg, then we begin to select mm -hmm. uh, what and select uh, the live one. Yeah, live uh, one. And uh, uh, yeah, get the live one. And uh, we, we just put them in the box for the cup. Uh, the uh, uh, microorganism for those that, that's the ox, ox for the cup. We just put the strain inside. Then after one week, we take them off. Then, because the cup was in the uh, like a, uh, Test strain already in Ada. So we can see there is a lot of uh, transparent zone. Mm -hmm. So the bigger, of course, the produce more antibiotics. Mm -hmm. So we then we go back to which which was uh, the big one. So we get the strains and we do the fermentation and we uh, use the kind of stand curve, get uh, this kind of dot data. So the, this, this one was a kind of uh, produces you know, how. Uh, how much amount, uh, amount the, how much microgram. This one was a uh, uh, number, which one. So finally we get two, uh, MU1 and MU2. So which produce like 20 folds. Before, for example, it was one microgram, then, then this one is 20 microgram. 
for twenty volts. So which is quite happy for us to get more compounds and then we can do the animal test. And uh, then now recently we call cohesion with uh, some group. Actually, they have this machine. Actually, we want to buy uh, uh, actually the, this kind of machine. If we put the, the strain in the acre, we just directly use the uh, mass to, to pitch the acre. And then the molecular weight comes, mm -hmm. then we know ah, this strain can produce. We don't need to fermentation again. Uh -huh. So it's very quick. Because we will have thousands, thousands of data. So this is one way. Uh, actually, the, you can, the uh, uh, this technique is uh, one was fancy, another was really uh, uh, easy to use. Uh, they actually like. Uh, um, move like like scanning like we scan the copy so you, you, you can see they just scan and get all those data use the heat map so you, you guys know the red more uh, amount then the color was more uh, deep so after they scan they just directly told you which area uh, was a uh, high kind of yield so from uh, from uh, Yeah, from uh, this dead patch ditch, ditches, you can see. So after scan, so like this was a kind of red one, this yellow one, so red one, of course, produce more. Uh, because this compound was, uh, we take almost 10 years till now. Mm -hmm. So uh, we think so not easy, like there's a monk, uh, there's a Sun Wukong Ke Tang Shen. There is uh, actually a monk uh, in the Tang Dynasty. Uh, he from Chang'an, from capital city, in Tang Dynasty, walk by the foot, go to the uh, India, yeah. and get all those uh, Buddhism book, go back to China. Take yeah. off. You, you say Perjalanan ke Barat, mm. uh, from Tanjong. Uh, Tanjong, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. It, it, um, uh, he actually, uh, 20 years, more than 20 years, finished this kind of work. So we memory this guy, and also because we get from desert. Uh, he almost de died in the desert. So we named name it, it compound Shenzhang mice, because also memory uh, the monks. Um, actually, uh, they, uh, Shenzhang is past the uh, Pamyo, also past the Indo India uh, desert. So we are uh, cooperation with Pakistan, also, we go to the uh, uh, Indian desert. We, we really want to know uh, past the Pamir uh, and also the Himalaya part, then what's the difference with the Kalimantan Desert and Indian Desert? So we actually cooperation with the Punjab University and get some new species there. Uh, chemical uh, work will be done then because their postal already uh, get the email, we'll go to my group. Yeah, we, we just talked about all the new species and the new uh, ways uh, about uh, strain derivation, get new compound. Actually, these uh, new techniques appear uh, for the, let's say, uh, in situ culture method. Uh, actually, especially by uh, two American scientists, they published a very good paper. Recently, we designed by ourselves about uh, trap, how to trap those uh, new species in the environment. We put them, uh, we designed this. This is my, uh, one of my cases work. She designed this uh, kind of device and put it into a mangrove. Mm -hmm. So Fena, uh, it's a PhD, she, she was so strong. She was just like a boy and uh, um, get, get all those done by herself. Mm -hmm. And he put them into the uh, mangrove. One month later, come back again, found, the, found all those things back to the lab to uh, finally get the two new species and she was very few. Like Mata say, only one species or two species were this third or this second. Also, they already get some activities. 
So as new species might be brought to new compounds, we are uh, definitely starting. And uh, uh, finally, uh, we talked about the new strategy was chemical kind of uh, deregulation strategies. Uh, this concept appears many, uh, many years before in the 1970s. Uh, and German, German company, also scientists, make a lot of uh, uh, contribution to that concept. We, we can see like TLC profile, TLC fingerprint, or also like HPLC fingerprint. This kind of concept actually at that time was uh, set up by the German scientists. Later on, HPLC mass, HPLC UV mass, and HPLC like a UV mass, NMR, this kind of uh, uh, research work actually uh, was accepted by, uh, was established by the Western people, like the American, uh, they, they uh, merged company, they, they used to find some new compound. And in, in New Zealand, uh, John Blanc, he was actually a, a big scientist every year. Now he retired every year, he always writes a review about nature products from marine in the nature uh, product report. So we have some contra contracts. Uh, we write email frequently, I get the antibase. They make the antibase. So we use the antibase uh, to the single work with them. Uh, he has a postdoc in, in Shanghai, so I live there, give me this uh, PPT. Usually we do like this, but, but he just deletes some and put some new technology inside, and then everything down, very big. Uh, of course, um, half a year, uh, ha half time, will be spent, they will save, save half time. And the uh, reason more fancy kind of uh, technique was GMPS. Uh, a lot of professors know this technology actually was uh, established by the uh, Peter uh, in the United States. He and the Costco uh, published the first paper in PMAS in uh, 1920, uh, 1912, 1912. Then used into the, this uh, technology in the micro research uh, for the replication in the 2013. So we follow this one was in the 2014. At that time, I asked the quarters company actually which has this kind of equipment. But though those technicians, they don't know this technology. Finally, um, the headquarters send people come. So we discuss, they have, they know that. So finally, we buy this machine and establish their methods. Here now, we have published nine papers. That almost uh, during five years, we published five, uh, nine papers about how to use that. Mm -hmm. So we will have uh, two examples about how to use the chemical derivation to find your antibiotics. First of all, for bacillus, we use the direct bioprospecting. Also, or we say direct chemical derivation. So we first found uh, like herkamycin from the uh, desert used the uh, jump plant strategies. And we found this kind of compound actually uh, has a symbolic, like uh, characteristic. Uh, first, totally 28 compound was produced by the bacillus. So all was produced by bacillus. Then second was has by activity. Then this compound has kind of chemical characteristic in the UV, in the infrared uh, fluorescence and also mass. Then we think if we just combine all those characteristics, might be we can screen uh, new uh, amicomycin because this kind of compound has new uh, mechanisms against uh, uh, bacteria. So no drug resistance. Drug resistance. Uh, at that time, we have a lot of people do uh, hard to reach environment, also get some uh, bacillus. So we use those bacillus, we uh, make some high throughput screening, mm -hmm. then use those machines. Uh, finally, from the each TLC spot, uh, get like this kind of UV, then finally uh, go to the mass. Then we found uh, there is some new, some old one. So uh, actually this, you can, we can see the first. So the, the, the trick is we we spot the uh, uh, TLC blade hum manually. It's a tough work. So finally, we can get the machine, just let the machine do that. So we, we don't need to do those things. That will be uh, more quick than before. So finally, from uh, 346 <coughs> strands, 
we get six producing strengths, only produce amicomycins. And from uh, six, we found two strengths can produce new antibiotics. So we just uh, uh, like uh, a large scale, we use the ordinary way, unified compound. Finally, we get those 10 compounds and do the chemical structure. This was more easy than before because we have get compound, just like synthesis, we have a leading compound without structure. So NMR is more easy than before. So finally 10, one was from some desert, one was from uh, Tibet, and totally 10 compounds. So this was a, uh, once PhD student work, of course, a lot of people helped her. And it's a kind of <coughs> innovation thinking and uh, finally uh, come true. So this student get kind of an award uh, in, uh, in the meeting of uh, your also excellent students, PhD students in, in my lab. And this compound actually, uh, Activity is good, so we want to go to the animal. So finally, we go to the animal. What happened? So you can the the, uh, the mice. The, the the food has problem. So finally, the drug is so not so easy to 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 get. You can see the mice. Usually they just run, but they cannot. They didn't die, but the. The, new, the, the neurons, uh, neural neurons has problem. They, they cannot go normally. So they, they kind of, uh, uh, food has a real problem. So this drug cannot be juggable. It's too toxic. So um, after this experiment finished, so we are kind of frustrated, but we have a Ugang, we have a chemical synthesis guys. So uh, Ugang begin to modify the structure. So more than 200 already uh, in, in our lab. We were screaming, see which one will uh, kick the side effect out and then get juggable. So actually, this compound is very attractive. Even uh, Japanese are uh, like, they, they are not coping with us, but they interested in the job, which are total successes. We also have successes. So we, we, we just uh, competed. Finally, we uh, publish in a different place. Yeah, that, that's a directly kind of apple. Yeah. So we give some example for from Mango for the GMPS. So uh, I'm not sure, my the uh, student not quite clear about GMPS technology. Most professors should know that. Like uh, we have a uh, strain, we go to HPLC, so there's a lot of it. So we, each peak, we just uh, get LC mass mass, uh, break them down, so we compare. Like this peak was nose, that peak was eyes. So brother and sister and the father and mother, like they are more similar. So uh, we use the uh, like the LCMAS data as a data cluster, like a, make a picture. So this peak has a one picture, that peak has one picture. So the similarity we can compare according to the LCMAS mass data. Mm -hmm. So if they are 60% similarity, very similar. So um, then we use the link, connect them, finally like make a web. Uh, web. So that's a uh, mangrove in China. We have cooperation with uh, what we have done. Uh, we just keep that. And uh, yeah, a lot of work. We have micro uh, biology a lot of work. Like, uh, not go to 30 mm -hmm. years ago. And uh, many papers, like six papers, uh, published when he got PhD. And all, all the new species from and, uh, mm. Let's just talk about the GMPS like this. So uh, you can see this uh, kind of uh, net, like uh, compound and compound net. If they are relatives, they were net uh, close in the one cluster. So this one sample, we uh, go to the uh, Guangdong in China, there's Michael. We collect sample and we do uh, purify all the strength. After we screen, and uh, of course, we also have competition with Russia. They have a time screen. So we send sample, they give us data. Then finally, uh, we select one strain, one strain as text strain, we begin to the GMPS. Let's see that one. Usually, we get the e, uh, easier activate extraction, right? Then we go to TLC, run TLC, find the active bands. Then get active bands, we go to HPLC, we get active peak. So usually, like this. We also do like that. But after we get the bands, 
you get the HPLC, then we found one peak, actually a lot, other peak is weak, a little. So in this peak, we go to the database, we found that it's the HMLIC. Then second step, we just don't go to the HPLC, we just use bands. We go to the uh, uh, UPLC mass mass. So we found there are four peak, actually uh, uh, quite close to each other. Then finally, we see, see there are at least four is kind of compound. So we just EA uh, kind of extraction. We direct go to use UPLC mass mass. Then there is a two cluster, class A and B. Uh, the action rising was in, in that place. And uh, so uh, we can quickly, because the molecule just wait just a little bit. So we quickly know a nice compound, P1 and P3, we can get the structure. But P2 and P4, we don't know, but they are similar. They are quite similar with uh, each other. So we search all the action lines, but no molecular weight is exactly this time. So we just encourage students to purify them because it's so, so small peak. Mm -hmm. If we uh, begin our project, that's half a year, we'll spend it inside. So finally, we uh, decide to pu uh, purify that. And after that, we can see, yeah, that's new. The, mm -hmm. the original, they has a kind of a breach by the mm -hmm. software, but now they open that from another kind of jar, uh, compounds. So use this uh, technique, we, we cooperate in Mon Mongolia, we get from a uh, new, from desert, uh, this, uh, this is kind of work. And the, that's the GMPS, uh, that's uh, GMPS which we be interested in. So we can uh, continue this work, publish paper. And uh, also we, uh, yeah, we use another way, that's the PCA. So that beginning is one strand, right? So we, after we assay, get the uh, many uh, uh, bioactive strand. We take, take 23 together, use the same uh, like uh, technique and use the PCA to find one strand M22, actually produce kind of uh, uh, new compounds. So from M22, which make M22 outline of all those strands, the 23, right? He's outline with other strand. He's uh, like toughest. Like in this floor, uh, there is a high, high people, uh, no matter man or the woman, they were high and low. There is a, a fat and a thin. So they, we just take one as a symbolic. So other will group, he will be outside. So M22 appears, then we uh, do all those GNPS and bond uh, some of uh, related to 22. And then we focus those a cluster to the purification and the structure in this station because we have already found some, some new there. Uh, they are all relatives. Some was big, peak was big, some was a, a low one. So of course we will select more uh, kind of strong, intense peak. Then finally, uh, all the compound one by one was uh, founded. I know six was purified and four was new. So this paper already published. Um, so in the uh, chemical deriplication, we use two strategy. One was about uh, direct about uh, plus acting, and now that's GMPS, which we really quite fancy here. Uh, till now, we published more than uh, 120 this kind of paper and uh, cited by uh, all the world. Actually, this was company sent to me. I don't know uh, why they sent me, but they just like um, to a new website. So. Uh, we can see uh, some uh, research actually, all the people do this kind of research everywhere, uh, on, all, all over the world. So that's uh, almost uh, finished. Uh, this work actually from uh, many grounds. Uh, I just uh, get money and write paper and design all those things by the equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, almost all was uh, done by all my students, PhD students and uh, all those uh, stuff. Also, always students, that's uh, uh, like in Mongolia uh, research, and also uh, from Russia, from uh, uh, Pakistan, from Malaysia. Mm. Uh, yeah, different students. Hope, hopefully, one day we will get the connection. Yeah. Thank you, Professor Ken Hansun, for your inspiring uh, lectures. I, I think it's so huge. <laughs>
good of all this, yeah. And uh, maybe uh, I can uh, summarize a little bit, uh, like Professor Cheng Hang uh, said that for get a new antibiotic from microorganisms, so first we have to find the microorganism itself, yeah. Mm -hmm. So go to unique uh, area, uh, unique fields, like a cave, disease, this inspires me also to go there, <laughs> to cave uh, volcano like that, yeah. So maybe we, we have volcano group, mangrove group like that, yeah, lizard group, a marine group, yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Okay. So after we get the uh, microorganisms and um, yeah, by the new strategy that you said, like uh, LCM, SMS, GNPS, so speed up to choose the select strain that uh, produce new antibiotics, maybe like yeah. the professor. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now uh, for the discussion session uh, from the students here, if you have any question, just uh, feel free to ask also the audience from the Zoom. If uh, you have questions, you may uh, ask directly or you may type on the chat. Okay. Yeah, I think so. From here? Any question? Any question? Okay, maybe uh, before from the student, uh, as I said to you in my lab, actually, we uh, focus more on fungi mm -hmm. because of our difficulty to get back to my set, mm -hmm. actually. Maybe because you didn't explain about how to get the oh. actinal bacteria or actinomyces, maybe you can give us some tool or some mm -hmm. technique uh, to how to get uh, actinomyces easier. Actually, uh Always, mother have uh, this kind of uh, presentation, mm -hmm. but today we didn't arrange that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, actually, many university we go to, they also ask. It, it's kind of more easy than fungi. Mm -hmm. uh, that's so, that's strange. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and we yeah. actually one tricky thing is uh, we need to put the kind of inhibitor in the agar. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, media is another thing, right? Usually, we can get from uh, reference uh, paper. Second was dilution. We cannot so density. For example, dilution minus four, minus five, at least minus two, uh, 10, min mm -hmm. 10 to minus four, at least one. Right? So there will be more uh, few strains in, mm -hmm. in, in your example. So that's another trick. Well, maybe if I can add mm -hmm. something, uh, Professor. So mm -hmm. usually, if you want to work with actinobacteria, mm -hmm. I suggest you to use two type of uh, antibiotics. The first one is nalidesic acid. So nalidesic acid will inhibit the gram-negative bacteria. And the mm -hmm. other one is cyclohexamine. Unfortunately, these two antibiotics are not really easy to be found in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we need to pre-order from Singapore. Unfortunately, we didn't know that, well, actually we, we bring some uh, nalidesic acid because we have collaboration yeah. uh, in uh, Mera Foundation in Bali. So uh, later I, I will open, ah, no, it's yeah. already locked. So later I will send the pictures to Ibu. Mm -hmm. So for the, uh, for these uh, two antibiotics are very essential if you want to isolate. And mm -hmm. the other one is uh, the media. So usually we use at least 12 different media to isolate those actinobacteria. bacteria. And most of the time, uh, students like um, that has a very uh, like a few experience working with actinobacteria. Mm. You will only isolate three genus. One is Septomyces. Second is Micromonospora, uh -huh. and the other one maybe sometimes Actinomadura, because those three uh, genus uh, they produce filaments. Mm. Uh, there is the People, similar with fungi. Yes, uh. it's uh, similar like uh, like fungi. Mm. But actually, actinobacteria is not only those three. Yeah. Some of actinobacteria, it just looks like bacteria. Mm. It just looks like non-filamentous. Therefore, we, we name it, they are a group of filamentous actinobacteria and non-filamentous actinobacteria. Mm. But if you are looking for the point of view of 
metabolic production. I can suggest to work well. These three genera are very potential, but also some others like Salinispora. Uh, pardon? Salinispora. Salinispora okay. also, but Salinispora. Most of the papers they work with the marine. marine yeah. mm. Salinospora. If you isolate from mangrove or seaweed, you mm. will never find it. But oh, if you work with uh, marine sediment mm. and also work with the sponges, uh, corals, no. So sponges and, and marine yeah, sediment sediments. are very potential because one of the most famous uh, compounds from um, a sponge, yeah, yeah. menzamine, if I'm not mistaken, mm. uh, these compounds was also reported from Salinispora, which associated with uh, these uh, uh, yeah, sponges. Mm. So actually, Unfortunately, our time is so limited. I want to share something. Uh, well, maybe uh, later well, well, I will. Okay, yeah, I will send to you uh, all the protocols that I uh, use. I see. Because I ask my students, not only isolate fungi. Uh, which one? <laughs> yeah, uh, Maria. I yeah, Mar Grisel also. Yeah, I ask uh, them to not only isolate fungi but also uh, actinobacteria because we don't have. Uh, Many uh, actinobacteria. Okay. Yeah. Actually, possibly go to our lab to change in like two weeks, three weeks. Yeah, oh, then... for, for association three months. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Two weeks for my students. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, no, please. Okay. Beijing is so good. Beijing is so uh, good. Another question, actually. Okay, for, because I. There's a question, really question about uh, interference in isolation of screening unculturable. Okay, so uncultured uh, in isolation <laughs> species to find new antibiotics, of course. Yeah, okay. that, that's a lot of work. Reason yeah. focus on that. Uh, what we do actually was uh, like the trap, like we have showed the trap kind of technology. Also, we can use the they say culture omics. Now, culture omics are very popular, so uh, they they use uh, they dilute dilute until uh, might be there only one cells inside. Then they put into the like uh, 96 microplates each hole, then they culture. Finally, some are uh, unculturable because the mixture, unculturable appears. Um, yeah, actually, uh, uh, Ninpo, there is a Hesan, but this, uh, this uh, group, they focus on that uh, because they learn from the uh, West East uh, University, like uh, uh, Kim Lewis in that group. Yeah. Mm. I'm not sure. So, uh, okay, any question? Oh, okay. He is also my PhD student in Osaka University oh, right Osaka. now. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Is my voice audible? Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, Professor Cheng Hansun, for the presentation. So, uh, actually, I used to work with uh, Streptomyces uh, mm -hmm. for my master. And actually, I want to ask about the strategies how to isolate unusual or the novel actinobacteria uh, from extreme or unusual samples. Because uh, when I saw your presentation, that uh, you isolate from the desert and also from the cave. And also, I heard from uh, one of the speaker, but I cannot see who. And he said that uh, we have to use at least two types of antibiotic, which is one to inhibit the gram-negative bacteria and also the other uh, cyclohexamide, mm -hmm. and also at least 12 different media. So my, my question is, does this media can cover or promote the growth of the uh, of the novel or maybe unusual septomyces from, or maybe actinobacteria uh, from these samples, either from desert or maybe from the cave? Thank you. Uh, okay, much hi. Uh, so mm -hmm. I, oh, hello. <laughs> I just want to show like a small, yeah, the the diversity actually for from my samples. Uh, yeah, can you see this? Yeah, yeah. So these are the thirty three genera that, that we isolated from uh, mango uh, sediment actually. So, um, but, the, uh, but the most important actually, if you want to work with the diversity is our eagerity to isolate all isolates, all colonies that grow mm -hmm. on the plate. Sometimes like Atrobacter, 
disgener dis Acrobacter, Agromyces, Glutamibacter, Microbacterium, Pseudoatrobacter, Cynomonas, Rhodococcus, they are just totally looks like bacteria. Mm. Sometimes we will thought, oh. okay, this is gram-negative bacteria because it, okay. it produces very beautiful colors. But at the end, it just actinobacteria because uh, I will give you another, some pictures, uh, not in this presentation. This white, wait a moment. So could you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so in here you can see that one of my new species, Microbacterium, well, I'm working only with uh, new species. I'm not really working on chemistry. So uh, some of our new species just looks like gram-negative bacteria. For example, mm -hmm. like Microbacterium, at first I thought that that might be Pseudoalteromonas or another uh, general from gram-positive like, uh, like Virgibacillus because they just looks like bacteria. But after that, I just did sequencing and I, I turned out, okay, this is actinobacteria. So yeah, rare, rare actinobacteria. And uh, I also found uh, like some new species actually that totally looks like, uh, oh, sorry. That totally looks like, yes, this one. So, oh, not yet. Oh. Like this one. So this is my new species. Looks mm -hmm. totally looks like uh, bacteria, yeah. but this is actinobacteria. Mm -hmm. So oh. yeah, uh, I have no good pictures, I guess. Oh uh, yeah, and this this new species also produce uh, like very good uh, enzyme production. So yeah, if you want to really work with actinobacteria, I suggest you. Do not only isolate the uh, filamentous actino mm. because if yeah, you yeah, yeah. isolate uh, filamentous most most of the time when when me and professor we went to Brin, uh most of the researchers they are the only god streptomyces micro yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, even actino madura also very rare because actino madura some of them they need because they are thermos term uh they i forgot the name of the uh, of, of of the family but they need a special treatment by preheating if you want to isolate them. Like uh, mm -hmm. also, you need to very dry condition to isolate them. But most of the actinobacteria that you want to isolate from the fresh media, you also can get this kind of uh, non-filamentous bacteria as well. Maybe that's can he, uh, is it answering your question? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thank you. Uh, actually, uh, when I used to work with my infectious, so um, at that time I just preheat it with. Uh, at least 60 degrees for about one hour. And mm -hmm. after I grow in the YPDX, uh, YPD media and only, I, uh, I only isolate the filamentous only. So that's why maybe I, I only get the streptomyces. So mm -hmm. actually, uh, is there any other option uh, other than the nalidic stick acid and cyclohexamine to inhibit other unwanted uh, bacteria? Because uh, as you say that uh, other kind of actinobacteria can also have um, the same morphology as the gram-negative bacteria. So how can we, or maybe other as uh, other alternatives other than these two compounds to our anti, uh, two antibiotics to inhibit other unwanted bacteria? Mm, well, basically uh, for actinobacteria, they will only use the, uh, these two antibiotics because nalidic uh, acid will inhibit the. I I, I forgot the, the 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 mechanisms. But this, oh this, this antibiotic specifically to inhibit gram-negative. So although the actinobacteria looks like bacteria, but it will not kill the actinobacteria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will only mm -hmm. kill the um, gram-negative. And cyclohexamide is anti-fungi, so it will so decrease the number of the fungi. Uh, in Indonesia, yeah. it's pretty difficult to get this. Usually we use amphotericin. Pardon? Amphotericin or nistatin. Nistatin, uh, yeah. But for nistatin, it only inhibit the... Uh, what we say, like candida mm. derivata, uh, what, what, yeah, for like yeast, yeah, yeast for, yeah, for, yeah, for yeah. can inhibit the mm. yeast, but for the 
Amphotericin usually. Oh, uh, it can use for uh, uh, yeah. Amphotericin. So maybe uh, the, mm. the the most important one is malidesic acid. Oh, yeah. Ah, so yeah. Okay, this is yeah. I think that is. Okay, that. Okay, thank you. So maybe later about the, the media, yeah, the media that you usually use. Okay. Yeah, especially who works with bacteria, Jeremy. <laughs> uh, no question yet. Mm -hmm. uh, can I ask more? <laughs> oh, okay. I still so, have questions. Something came up. still have time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, I saw that you, uh, you can isolate almost hundreds of isolates from one cell, uh, from several samples. And my question, my question is how can you uh, do the screening? Like what is the most efficient to screen all of the strain? To uh, to to pick which one is the most uh, potent, yeah. yeah, to produce yeah. the anti uh, anti bias or everything. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. That, that's key question. Yeah, that's very important. So actually, we we have two ways. One way was use the kind of you know the deep pole, like like ninety six micro uh, plates. So they have that is small, right? Only can put two hundred micro liter. Yeah. yeah, but we have big one. We pro, uh, make a big one, actually, uh, uh, almost more than two to four milliliter. We can put so many samples. So uh, this this kind of place, actually, uh, we we can put each strain. We can do two tw uh, two times, uh, two ways. One was each strain use many different media. That that's the like osmic like ways. Another was uh, we just select one media. We each po uh, power, we, we put one stress. So almost we use the 29, we use 20, uh, 24 kind of micro plate. So one plate, we can put 24 stress. For four kind of, uh, we can almost 96 like uh, stress, we can scan. Like uh, uh, screening uh, this kind of fermentation first. Then we uh, use the high support put screen. We can direct know which uh, kind of, uh, uh, power they have active. Uh, we usually use several kind of bioassay uh, to narrow down the candidates. For example, from 100, then we narrow down like 10. Then we narrow use other ways. We use uh, like, uh, of course, like uh, uh, the zone, inhibition zone, and also uh, uh, that that is some experience. We get them, uh, like uh, put them into TLC plates. Uh, we, from the mass, we almost know, ah, this might be actinomycin. You, you know the actinomycin, right? Actinomycin is so frequently, always mm. be uh, like isolated from uh, like streptomycin, mm. like this thing. So you need to have a kind of database in your brain, yeah. like 20 or uh, 30, this kind of compound, which highly uh, produced. Yeah, that's uh, another uh, tricky thing. Of course, finally, we will use the GNPS compared with the database. That, that's the next step. So uh, uh, high throughput uh, fermentation, then high throughput screening, then uh, according to the database in your brain and in the literature, then finally uh, narrow down the candidate. Then we go to the GNPS, like this kind of schedule. Uh, OK. Okay, so uh, actually, I want to confirm. So basically, we use the micro plate to first um, fermentate them with different media yeah, yeah. in the each well, maybe uh, several well uh, for one isolate, and then after after the after the fermentation, we take uh, we take the the okay. result, and then we test uh, for the antibacterial or maybe anti uh, biological activity. Is that right? Yeah, according to uh, the equipment, after fermentation, you can uh, easier extract it. Also, you can don't do that. You can just directly freeze slice, left slice. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah dry yeah. it up, put the metal mm -hmm. inside, then you can uh, active all. So, according to your equipment, sometimes. Mm. Uh, okay. How long do you usually do the fermentation? For the I mean, like, yeah, for the screening. Yeah, How long? Yeah, usually seven days. Usually seven days. Yeah, ah, days. okay, okay. But we observe from uh, like four or five days, then sometimes 
especially from very uh, like like from the soda lake, mm -hmm. the maximum we catch are 29 days. 29, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, because it's so difficult to catch it. Uh, it's uh, from yeah. soda lake, very mm -hmm. high concentration of soda. And the so, fermentation is yeah. in the static or in the uh, uh, using uh, agitation? Is it static condition or static? Uh, okay. sorry, static okay. or agitation? I usually shake. shake and, oh, shake. Uh, yeah, sometimes they, they clumpy, so we will put glass yeah. on the wall inside. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. okay, thank you, uh, Professor. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> in your life, for screening first, uh, screening for the chemical and then go to the activity. Oh, our lab first, activity first. Uh, yeah. yeah. Activity first, and then go for uh, the chemical, chemical screening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And the question and from Andy? Yeah, from Andy. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, silahkan Ibu, Ibu atau Bapak? Uh, oh, Ibu. Ibu, ya. Yeah. <laughs> silahkan Ibu, ya. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the time for Prof. Chang Chang, I'm from, I'm from Udip uh, in Semarang, yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, this the topic is so, uh, well, I'm interesting about it. I worked with uh, fungi and I have isolated for uh, two years, maybe, yeah, from digestion of a chicken uh, kampung uh, in Indonesia, I'm kampung, yeah. But uh, until now, I'm not yet know that uh, the fungi produce or not uh, the antibiotic. But if I uh, make growth together with uh, uh, another fungi, Aspergillus uh, flavus, and also Acerasia coli, they can grow professionally than them. <laughs> but uh, the point is, I'm not yet uh, to explore a further about they can produce antibiotic or not, or other substances. I mean, uh, what's called secondary my metabolism of the fungi. I I I, I don't know until now. Uh, there is any what calls uh, the procedure maybe uh, another uh, growth in in media or in liquid, I want to do the information about that for yours. Thanks. Yes, actually, uh, co-culture, uh, two, two strains. Usually, we, we, in our last year, we also did the co-culture, but we didn't talk today. And uh, co-culture, uh, you can, how to say, pay attention to that. Uh, one strain you can catch it first, uh, like one day, two days, really five days. So another strain, when it should be put, you should try. You should try not always like just together because it might be this strain, uh, like uh, they produce something later on. They, another strain actually use their enzyme to modify that compound. So, so you need to try out, not always just put them together. Yeah, they everything down. No, no, not like this. Yeah. Maybe the question how to check whether there is uh, antibiotics or no. Are they uh, produce or not? Uh, yeah. 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 Actually, we, we use the uh, paper disc kind of uh, assay, which is quite easy. Just uh, put the uh, fermentation gloss and dry them up. But you should pay attention to the concentration. Too low, even though those come, uh, if they already produce antibiotic like secondary metabolites, but uh, like yield is so low, you still cannot test. You have you the, we we have two way. One way was super sensitive mm. bacteria, so we oh. delete some gene, make the bacteria so sensitive to to any kind of antibiotics. So we we usually use the delta. Uh, like E. coli. E. coli. Yeah. Oh. And uh, another way actually was make your sample more concentrated. So more high uh, antibiotic inside, then you can reflect are there any antibiotic appear or not. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can think about this kind of thing. Actually, the super uh, sensitive strain we can buy from market. 
So we, if you need, we can. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we cannot. We can give the name. Uh, back here, but we cannot deliver. Yes, yes. Yeah, we uh, will have so the specific uh, bacteria for testing mm -hmm. uh, very sensitive E. coli. Mm -hmm. So the label is like this: very sensitive E. coli. Tosi E. coli. Yeah, third Tosi E. coli. Uh -huh. That means a uh, 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 gram-negative kind of uh, uh, and, uh, uh, bacteria. They have pumped. Mm -hmm. When you when your antibiotic come, they will pump your arms. Mm -hmm. So we delete the pump. So they have no ways to pump antibiotics, so it's more sensitive mm. like this. Yeah, <laughs> because usually in our lab, uh, if we concern about uh, the strain produce antibiotics or no, we just check for uh, three kind of bacteria. Mm -hmm. So one uh, representative for gram negative bacteria, E. coli. Yeah. And uh, then for gram positive bacteria, mm -hmm. Staphylococcus aureus. Yeah, yeah, and then for uh, anti fungi, we use Candida albicans. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, fine. yeah. But uh, just regular uh, microbes, not mm -hmm. just uh, very sensitive uh, bacteria. Right? Yes. <clears throat> if you yeah. like, uh, usually fungi don't need others. This is good. Because mm. fungi that produce kind of yield is high, mm. but ectobacteria sometimes oh, you know yeah. zero point one microgram uh -huh. per meal, zero point one micro, uh -huh. so low, so low. That's mm. why we always make like uh, uh, mutation and breed uh, the strain, make high kind of yield strain, even high, not so high. Mm. Fungi always produce on yeah. so the fungi also. Produce toxin, mycotoxin mm. on the way they produce uh, antibacteria. Mm. Uh, well, based on my previous study as well, fungi. When 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 I do like screening with HPLC, oh, a lot of pigs. But once I try to isolate the, the compounds and then test, so toxic. <laughs> so we isolated some uh, some of um, new uh, new derivatives of uh, I forgot the name, citrine. Oh, it's it's really really also really very really famous from mm -hmm. penicillium. Uh, penicillium. Mm -hmm. So it, it it has pretty good antibacteria, mm -hmm. but when we test to normal cells, it also kills mm -hmm. the normal cells. So it's kind of the, the problems for the uh, fungi metabolite. Yeah. But you can modify the structure. Yes, <laughs> yes. With, in, in, yeah. in Professor's level, yeah. <laughs> microbiologist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I mean, I just uh, make uh, uh, the 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 original experiment like uh, Bu siapa tadi maaf <laughs> yang uh, ya yeah. <laughs> hanya uh, just to know that uh, the the my fungi that I have isolated can combat for the uh, pathogen in the chicken like as E. coli and also Aspergillus platus. So uh, I found that they can uh, combined, I mean, uh, they can grow professionally, but I don't know, the point is, I I not yet know they can produce antibiotic or or uh, maybe yeah, antimicrobial that can uh, uh, what's called uh, combat for the the pathogen. That's point. But anyway, uh, thank you for the the information for Prof Yang Zhang. Thank you very much. Sense of. Uh, maybe uh, if I can give uh, a suggestion, Ibu, uh, maybe you can do centrifugation for your co culture medium uh, mm -hmm. with speed 12,000 12, RPM for five minutes uh, in uh, four degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. And after that, you will get the, the supernatan, and you can use directly the supernatan using yeah. beverages. And then, um, although this very, very, very small. Inhibition zones. It still shows that your culture produces antibacteria. So for uh, for for instance, if you have no uh, evaporator, you just mm -hmm. try to use that media to screen whether your uh, co-culture uh, microbes has antibacterial or not. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we also do do the same things. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for the evolution this procedure. I can do it later. Thank you. <laughs> Oke, okay. terima kasih Ibu Jolini. Sama-sama Ibu. Ya. Yang sudah ada pertanyaan atau sudah jelas semua?
Oke, okay. ada lagi dari Jun yang bertanya? Oke, okay. maybe one more question, Professor from me. Uh, in terms of uh, fermentation for uh, production, usually how large your fermentation? Oh, yeah. So, like Xuanzang Maizin, uh, we forget 10 microgram, 10 microgram. We fermentation 100 liter. 100 liter? 100 yes. liter for? Yeah, 10? 10 microgram. 10 microgram? Oh. So, uh, we have the flask. So, we have big shaker. We have uh, 10 and big shaker. Each shaker, we can put number six. Six five liters kind of flask. Each each flask we just put in one liter. One liter. Wow. So uh, they so this was one uh, shaker. So six. Then we have ten and sixty. Mm -hmm. So we need to make a uh, class. So uh, each time was uh, one week. Uh, so uh, yeah, maybe if, <clears throat> if uh, the the. Because our our lab is for for production. Yeah, right? for So, but it, uh, in 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 our point of view, also if you have no like lots of shakers, you can try to uh, use one butanol. So one one butanol as the organic solvent so mm -hmm. to to extract. But the problem is for one butanol, you need to have a very powerful pump, pump uh, to, yeah, to, to evaporate. Yeah. 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 So yesterday, uh, Kindi from. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, King Dia, uh, he studied from Japan, Osaka University. Osaka University. Mm -hmm. So they use the kind of uh, pump. Meanwhile, uh, when the uh, when they those uh, uh, organic organic layer outside, so you need a very cold kind of cooler mm -hmm. because when they outside, you sh they should immediately uh, kind of cool down. Otherwise, they will go back. Mm -hmm. So that will speed. Uh, so minus 20 to minus 30 kind of cool. Cool, uh, yeah, yeah. Put them uh, with, with the machine, yeah. So anyway, I yield active. That's why a lot of people do fungi. They don't do that. <laughs> That's so, yeah. A lot of friends, they just put fungi there. Yeah, if if you have the facility, I think yeah, it's not a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I think if there is no question anymore, so I can close this uh, meeting. Uh, once again, thank you for me, very much for uh, yeah. Cheng, San, Cheng Hang Soon. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so maybe uh, we have uh, Suhani. Yeah, also uh, thank you very much for the audience yeah, from the Zoom and also here's the students. Okay, so uh, it's only oh. from okay. LPPM. Uh, they asked me to. Thank you so much. It's I don't know the exact. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's uh, for, okay. for university, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Satu, dua, di. One time, one, two, one, two. Okay. Because we also have some episode. We also have something. Oh. Yeah. Let me just show about that. Oh. Uh, actually, that's a Peking oh, Union sorry. Medical College. Oh, uh, Chinese Academy Medical Science. So there is a two, uh, like, uh, uh -huh. and then this actually uh, can make a light, put all this light, all this memory, oh, <laughs> yes. your mother, you can try that. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So I will exit this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 So mother, Thank we, you. we take picture then. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay. Hmm. Maybe uh, for uh, close these sessions, uh, how about we take the picture together? Yeah. yeah? That's all your students or half of your students.
Oh, oh, oh let's see my, my children. <laughs> <laughs> I know, there is no other student coming mm -hmm. to this office. Maybe all the in Zoom, maybe Professor uh, uh, Palino students. Mm -hmm. uh, it's okay. Uh, who will take the question? But, and also uh, with the Zoom, how's the arrangement? Di belakang aja ya. Okay. And we uh, decide first, and then we all on the board. Okay. Yes. So the student uh, from school of pharmacy. All this. Yes. Ayo pak, ada. Okay, maybe you do the yeah. So, semuanya biar Di sebagian di sini, sebagian di sana. Okay. Yeah, the same thing happened. The pharmacy with the college. Ladies. Yeah, ladies. Yeah, like uh, office, uh, student office, all of us. Untuk laporan juga semua. Ya, sebagai postdoc kan juga sebagai asisten bu ya. <laughs> ya merapat merapat. Okay. Oh, one. Yeah, the jump would have been for the room, yeah? Would that? Okay. The Pajibania, but we shall be done to the public game. 